a couple of weeks, the Mr. Rogers movie. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood will open in theaters. And to make it as authentic as possible, movie crews hired people who worked on the original show to get all the details correct. Chris Hoffman explains how it all came together. Frank Borniski has worked at WQED for more than 50 years. He helped to bring Mr. Rogers' neighborhood to life. Now he's helped continuing the legacy of the late Fred Rogers. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. To make the neighborhood of make believe look just like the show you remember from your childhood, the movie studios went to the man who made it all happen for more than two decades. My name is Frank Warninski. Warninski worked on the show for about 25 years. He was the lighting director and worked with the set pieces. First couple of years at QED, I didn't know anything about lighting, didn't know anything about television. I was a, a sort of theater major. Years later, Warninski still has vivid memories of the songs Fred Rogers would sing, especially when they pertain to things going on in his life at the time. <laughs> I remember weeping at the light board because it just sunk in. You know, it was perfect timing. I'll never forget that. So when the movie production crews used the WQED studios in Oakland, Warniski was called in to do his craft once again. He dug up the old light plans and floor plans he had saved and went to work. All right, pan that one a little bit, puts his barn door down, uh, put the bottom screen in that. It's all the same stuff again, all over again. He almost didn't have to think about it, you know, it's almost automatic. Production was about five to six weeks, and Warniski was one of the only people who worked on the original show to be part of the production the entire time they were here. It was amazing to see a recreated neighborhood of make-believe and the living room and kitchen and porch. It took him right back to the years he spent on the children's show. I never thought I would see the setup again the same way it was. It was amazing to see it there. He'll get the chance to have an early viewing of the movie this week. He is excited to see the finished product and hopes everyone enjoys it. Alongside Fred Rogers on the North Shore, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.